Hi everyone, it's Nicole again. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So, I'm gonna do Saturday sip and chat out here. It's not gonna be long. There's a few things that I wanna share with you. I need to um, ask you guys some polls because I don't know what to do. Okay, so. I'm drinking out of my Stanley and I got this new, I don't know if I showed you last time, but it's like a holder that I've been, I, when I come out here, I put my phone in this pocket and it fits and I come out here and drink, just drinking water. And I want to show you this too. These are so cool. How oh, cool are these? You'll love it. Now, unfortunately, I ripped the purple one, but I'll find another one. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so I had PT yesterday, and um, I have exciting news. I Ma I don't want to say mastered, but I have been very nervous and anxious about going down the step. And we did it at PT yesterday, and I'm happy that I am confident enough to keep doing that because once January comes, I have to go to my sister's house. Um, I still, I'm, I'm very independent as far as a lot of things going um i can't get my own food with the walker it is very hard so i have to go to my sister's house with my mom um, when she watches my niece's nephew wednesday and thursday so <sighs> i gotta tackle the stairs um and my physical therapist said that I'm bending at like 45%, which I'm very happy with. Um, he's going to try to get me to 60%. I mean, even before the accident, I <clears throat> did not, uh, it wasn't 100% anyway. It was like 78%, something like that. Anyway, um, so, so that was good. I attempted to paint my nails. I took the nails off. I'm not giving you a close-up because they're horrible. Um, I kept having to fix this nail. So I don't know if I'm going to, I'm going to take these off. Um, I bought a really good top coat. And base coat. I'm going to show you every all my nail supplies. I'm going to show you that uh, next Thursday. So next Thursday will be my final Thursday video. I didn't do it this Thursday because I was a mess. Um, kind of was a little down. I mean that's to be expected. Up and you know because I was bored out of my mind and I just you know was getting a little frustrated with things. So. Um, so here's the question. All right. So I need a poll. I miss my nails. I actually miss, I actually had a dream last night that I was getting my nails done. And it was like this pink and white marble set. It was beautiful in my dream. I was like, oh, I miss going to the nail salon. I've been watching nail videos a lot. Because I miss going to the nail salon. I miss getting my nails done. And I can't wait to get to go back. Hopefully soon. Sooner rather than later, actually. So I don't think it's going to be soon. Maybe like February. February, March, maybe. I'm thinking February. Um, 
<clears throat> so January I'll be doing my own nails. <sighs> and maybe I won't go back because I have a bunch of the Kiss um, press on nails. Now I don't know if because the last nails I told you they were they were not the Kiss nail brand that I'm used to. They were very sore to the point where it was very painful, and I had to ta I had to take them off. I don't know why it was painful. I don't know why if it was because it was a different brand. I don't know if it was because my nails were pretty weak, and I don't know if I did it wrong. Um, and I, I I didn't have. I did all the steps. I just did not have the um, cuticle oil. I don't know if that makes a difference. I don't know if anybody knows that. For those of you who do the press-on nails, what are your tips? Because I understand they're probably going to be very sore. But I don't know. Um, I don't want them to hurt. And they hurt for two days. Like, more, it was like hurting more than my knee. It was just crazy. So I took, they were pretty though. So, what are your tips on that? What do you do that's special? So, whether you keep it on or make it not hurt as much. I mean, I don't care if it's a little sore for like a day, but. Um, not to the point where it throbs. That's not normal. Um, I did look at the reviews, which I should have looked at the reviews beforehand. And they didn't get some good reviews. So, Because um, I'm used to the Kiss brand. And I remember... I remember being sore using those at first. Like even when I go to the nail salon, when you first get them done again and you put a full set, of course it's gonna be sore for a while. That's what's gonna happen. So I don't know. So, should I try, for my New Year's nails, should I try the press-ons again or paint my nails again? I don't know. I personally like my longer nails. But these don't hurt. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I don't know. What's your opinion? I want to know you guys' opinion on should I put the press on nails or should I paint them again? Now, I have a, um, like a, probably like a one- it's one hand but maybe like a few fingers at a time I'm, I'll show you next week like a one of those nail dryers but I want a, I want a good one I want a good one um, and buy some a couple more nail polishes um, but yeah I don't know what to do anyway <laughs> so let me know what your opinion is and um, I did switch in to my Christmas bag. And <clears throat> I go to the doctor's next Friday. And uh, get to use my walker. Because um, I won't be used to the cane yet. I... Oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry. Um, it is a shoulder bag. Well, it's a crook of the arm type of bag, but it has a shoulder strap. And it'll be something that I never expected. I just was thinking about this bag, and I'm like, you know what? Just gonna do that, so... 
I mean, I did put light accessories in it, so I shall do a what's in my bag on Thursday as well. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it did work with my walker. I uh, was able to put it over my shoulder and use the walker. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. I don't know. We'll see. I also have a crossbody bag that if I'm not really too confident in, I can just switch in it. I, I might even just do that. I might. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. I am getting a, a Duty and Burke backpack for Christmas. I picked it out. So I cannot wait to show you guys that when I get it. And speaking of Judy and Burke. So I've been watching a lot of videos lately. And a certain style. Not a certain style, but a certain um, material. Certain type of leather, we'll say. We'll say. Um, so I watched. I've been watching. Um, if you follow Tara's handbag, uh, makeup and handbags, please check her out. She's she has been in and out of her Croco, her Denison Croco bags and her regular Croco bags. And I'm like, that is a beaut. I love the Denison collection and she did a whole exotic or croc croco collection bag um video and then i watched um by pursuit of happiness ivana her channel she had she just unboxed her hobo her denison hobo and then she mentioned there was other colors and she goes, this, there was steel blue. So I, I just had to check it out. I had to go onto um, the I Love Duty website. Had to. And I had a moment of weakness. I purchased a Croco, Den Denison Croco bag. I want you to guess which one. Um, I will tell you the color. It's in steel blue and it is beautiful. It, it is a style I don't have. Um, and then I don't have a Junian Burke steel blue. I've always wanted a steel blue. Um, bag so now i'm actually on the hunt for like a credit card case or something but um <laughs> yeah so i'm i've been bad and i also purchased which i didn't get an email about a uh another pebble leather coin purse that is going to match my bag now, the good thing about this color bag that I got, the backpack, is I already have a wallet. <laughs> so, that's a good, so, that's a plus. <laughs> Not one of my favorite wallets, but it's a wallet that matches. So, I figured I'd use the backpack for a while, too. So, I got the Kipling one. It was beautiful. That might even be my, um, my, uh, my after Christmas bag, I think. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> oh, I gotta sit up. I keep moving around. I get very, not very, but I get, yeah, you could say very. I get very uncomfortable when I'm in the same position for a while. Um, and so I don't really sleep well at night. 
but I haven't really slept well since I got injured. But I'm being positive. Um, just ice my knee a lot. My exercises, which I have to do in a little bit. So as I mentioned before, I love this thing. And I love my Stanley. I love my Yetis. But I'm beginning to love Stanleys too. Um, so I had purchased another one to go to Jimmy's house. So he's going to bring me a Yeti here. I got to I gotta go through my tumblers. I got to wean out some of my tumblers. And I've kind of become a Stanley girl. And it's a beautiful blush kind of pink color. It's called Rose Quartz. And it's a 30 ounce. This is the 40 ounce. This is the 40 ounce. And um, so I purchased the 30 ounce to Jimmy's house. I figured, you know, these are really good to trap. And I just, I don't know, I've become a Stanley girl. I, um, so I got that. So I've been kind of bad. Um, I did want to, tell, like, with the, the Dooney and Burke Dennis and Cronko bag that I got in Steel Blue, I did get it at a really good price. So, and I did pay full. I didn't use the, I didn't use the Klarna, which I'm very shocked, um, at it, but part of one of my Christmas gifts to myself. <laughs> um, I have been a bad girl. I've been pretty good, and then I had a moment of weakness. Thank you, Tara and Ivana. <laughs> but um, that's okay. I don't mind. Beautiful. Steel blue is just beautiful color perfect color for winter and you'll be surprised what bag i chose you will be so surprised so guess what you think i per what style of bag i purchased i still want my bristol satchel there's always valentine's day <laughs> Um, so that I want for Valentine's Day, um, and then I think my collection will be pretty good, so, all right, I don't know, uh, what else, oh yeah, so I want to talk about for a, a second, I totally forgot about this. So I want to show you what I, I don't eat these every day. And I know these are probably not the he most healthiest things, but I like to snack a little bit. Um, so I'm trying to be real, a little healthier. I'm supposed to eat more protein. I'm supposed to have a high protein diet. So with snacks, I'll have like a little bit of fruit or whatever, um, but these are amazing. And I'm actually going to have one in a little bit. This is a uh, Atkins, Atkins peanut butter granola bar. 16 grams of protein, 4 grams of net carbs, 1 gram of sugar, and 6 grams of fiber. To me, I think there's sugar and Pretty much almost everything but that um i don't have these every day i mean they're not the healthiest but i need the protein and there's only so many times i can have chicken for dinner you know um <clears throat> so yeah i don't have these every day once in a while 
I do that, but these are really good. And I chose the peanut butter ones because when I go to work, we are a nut free um, facility. So we can't have anything with peanut butter. Even though currently we do not have a child that is allergic to peanut butter or any kind of nuts, um, I still avoid it because you never know. So I got the peanut butter ones. I have them in like this regular chocolate one, which is so good. And the coconut ones, which are really good. So, yeah. I get those at work sometimes. And I got... Uh, the <clears throat> they had the work Christmas party last night. At my boss's house. And uh, I missed it. I missed it. But they FaceTimed me, which was nice. I just miss everybody. I miss my babies. And sometimes I, I get down about that. Um, but what do you do? Okay, brush my hair again. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think that was it. Got to do my exercises now. Um, and that's it. That's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, I apologize if I get all over the place. I know there were complaints at one point that I just, I switch subjects. I go all over the place, but that's what ch chatting is. That's what uh, chatting is. You know, you don't just talk about one thing. But um, I do want to thank everybody for your love and your support and your comments. Even if you just like my video or even just watch it. I appreciate that. I did get one comment from a video like I did five years ago. I mean, I don't know. I may have gotten a little better at doing videos that I was when I first started out probably about five, six years ago. And um, and it was not a nasty comment. She just, this person just commented, I did a horrible demonstration. It was a handbag video, um, which I'm not really at the best at, but because um, I think I'm really good at these sip and chats at least i try to be, try to be i always show you goodies i always do pretty good at what's in my bags um not really good at comparisons or you know good in a boxing zone <laughs> aren't we all but um thank you so much for your continued love and support and i will continue to um Give you guys updates and videos i think i got that comment on thursday wednesday or thursday i got that comment and i think that comment kind of got me down it was at night so i think it was maybe wednesday night kind of got a little down over that but you know that i look at the the wonderful comments that you guys leave me and i'm so appreciative of that and Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, whatever your plans are. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. And I will see you in the next video, which shall be Thursday. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.